Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, Brother Wisdom, what's going on? You know, after further studies, I did that. When you study your history, you know your history. And I'm not talking about what the history that our enemies gave us. All right. When you study your history, you know your history. Atlantis. You know, I studied um, why, the reason why I know so much about George Lucas is because when I was in the eighth or either the ninth grade, I had to do a um, we had to do a book report on uh, a movie, a movie actor or actress or a movie producer. And I was into uh, Star Wars at the time. So I studied George Lucas. That was my study. That was that was what I studied. And, and you know, I think I did like a, it was like a, a five or six page book report at the time. Maybe 10 page, I can't remember how many pages, but um, I did that on George Lucas and, you know, growing up, we were always told that Atlantis fell underwater, all right? We was always told that Atlantis had fallen underwater and Atlantis was like this ancient um, city or whatever. It was just a city that out in the middle of the ocean is what we were taught. And in my studies, you know, that's where I learned that George Lucas, you know, he said, you know, Atlantean technology was what he studied. He went to school for it. He studied this in college. And I don't know if those same studies are still available, um, Atlantean technology, but whenever he was in college, he studied it because um, he was already well off and he wanted to make that movie Star Wars, so he needed to know um, uh, about Star Wars, where it came from. So he found out, you know, Atlantean technology. So this is how I know about Atlantean technology. But later on in life, I started learning that this was Atlantis. And I started learning that Africa was actually... The, uh, the Africa was actually where um, Missouri is. Um, Egypt was actually where um, you have the area of uh, Illinois and Indiana. It's where Egypt was. Detroit was Mecca. I mean, you had London here. You had England here. I mean, you had uh, France on this land here. Um, then this was what they called Tartaria. Which uh, was it was just recently and later on called Tartaria, but it was actually Atlantis. And biblically, these white people call this land of Babylon. All right, which Babylon means land of the great evil. But at the same time, they wanted to destroy what we had so that they could reclaim. Which means that um. It shows through Star Wars that we had already had droids. When you talk about R2-D2 and, um, and C-3PO, when you talk about R2-D2 and C-3PO, you're talking about droids. And these droids were um, downloaded cosmic knowledge unlike uh, the artificial intelligence that we deal with today that deals with um, information being input through a physical computer system the droids we had then was downloaded with a cosmic database so it showed um he showed in the movie where he studied 
did that eight year study on Atlantean technology that our droids were able to speak multiple languages and were able to do things on a, uh, on a, a much higher level than what this artificial intelligence they created um, could ever do. This is our technology that we had. It's all hidden away underground and in secret bases, uh, what they call federal uh, U.S. property, it's all hidden away in secret bases so that we won't know, all right? The TIE fighters and, 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 and uh, uh, the different ships that we had, we had surfboards that glided over the, um, the surface of the land. I mean, we had so much. This was Atlantis, later known as Tartaria, biblically known as Babylon, land of the great evil, because they saw this as evil. They didn't see this as a, as a good thing. They saw it as evil because they couldn't do it. So in, in an ultimate uh, um, chance of their survival and all, when they destroyed the tree of life, and destroyed the other structures and did all the things that they did, they literally uh, caused us to go into a deep sleep and caused us to forget about everything that we created. Henceforth, later on, they began to teach us Pan-Africanism, all right? They taught us Pan-Africanism. Everything came from Africa. Knowing that this was the land of milk and honey that they talked about in that book called the Bible. They said we need to make it to the land of milk and honey, you know, so that we can um, have the freedom that we always wanted to have. This land, America, which is Atlantis, is the land of milk and honey. It is the land of opportunity. It is the land where all the most powerful resources of this realm is contained right here on this land, America, called America, which is Atlantis. All right. So Star Wars is based upon Atlantean technology. All right. Egypt was inside of Atlantis. Africa was inside of, of Atlantis. I mean, so many different places were inside of this land. Um, there is a video that was just released not too long ago where Putin had actually um, uh, released a map of this ancient land. And he's like, he's like, I'm not even going to fight these, uh, this, this American government over this here. He says, I'm going to allow the people, and he was talking about the original people, to put up a fight against this system called a government. So we as the original beings, it is our sole duty, brothers and sisters, to literally gain this knowledge and intelligence of who we are where we come from. Yeah, we know all the things that you got Dane Calloway, he's putting all this information out and you know, I'm pretty sure he watches my videos every now and then and I'm like, I'm like, brother Dane, you gotta go deeper. You gotta start talking about our technology. You gotta start talking about the intelligence. You gotta start talking, I mean, if you keep going over the same thing over and over again got to talk about our technology, our intelligence, the things that we had. And the thing about it is the tree of life provided so much cosmic knowledge for us. All right. When that tree of life was destroyed, all of our cosmic memories were lost, but we still had a lot of our abilities. We still had a lot of our um, um, mindsets to create technology. All right. And that's why if you look at, um, if you look at all the technology that was created, 
It was created right here on this land. Every type of technology that's on this entire realm began right here in Atlantis. Every level of technology began right here in Atlantis, where we had the greatest, the greatest amount of technology across this entire realm. And this is why these inorganic beings want to um, carbon copy us. They want to become us. They want us to uh, fold in under until their system and not to remember who we are. You know, it is our sole duty to remember who we are. It is our sole duty to understand, understand, overstand that um, the Atlanteans are the most powerful people to walk this realm. But yet still, we are the most attacked beings on this realm, all over this realm. We are the most attacked beings because these um, invaders need us to be under their spell. So the spell is being broken. The spell is being broken and we're returning. There's this one uh, guy on, on, on that last video I did. There's one guy, I guess this guy, a woman, a male or female, I don't know, um, named Prophet. And when some of some, oh, you know, Atlantis, I mean, uh, all this stuff came from the Egyptians. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, when you don't know your history, when you don't know true history, you will believe anything that this so-called white man put out there. You would literally believe anything he put out there and you would take it to heart because um, so many of our brothers and sisters has this idea that these beings have all the knowledge when in reality they don't. They, they, they do things to confuse us and to keep us from um, learning the truth. All right. So it's so important that we understand, understand, overstand that the technology that was created from the beginning started right here, started right here. So many generations, so many tribes, so many uh, um, 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 uh, families and bloodlines were wiped out by these inorganic beings during the time of the invasion. They wiped us out. I still remember the document that I read and it said, as we um, began killing the Negroids, we realized that the planet began to cool off. I still remember that. So the, the fight that was against us because they had plans for now but it took them a long time. And this is why they fight so hard against us from actually learning. You know, they want us to be enthralled with sports and celebrities. You know, they want us to be enthralled with going to work and get some money and and gambling. And I mean, it's, it's so much that they, you know, religion and all kind of other things, you know. Donald Trump's about to do this. You know, come on now. This is where they want us to be so that they can remain in power over us. All right. That's the whole key point to understand that we are the most powerful beings ever is to understand that you yourself can link into this powerful quantum energy within yourself and create some of the greatest uh, 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 um, levels of intelligence and technology ever known all right so it would behoove us all to tap into this so that we can become greater in this lifetime my brothers and sisters it will behoove us to tap into this so that we can become greater so that we can become more powerful all right like we said they always throw stuff out there to to throw us off 
They always put stuff out there to throw us off. But we've got to go within ourselves to tap into it so that we can get back on line. That's the important thing, to getting back on line, to take ourselves back in tuned to the powers and the energies and everything, the knowledge and technology and everything that belongs to us. All right. So um, Atlantis was the base study, our Atlantean technology and the Atlanteans look like us, not like the cartoon that they put out there. Well, Atlantean looks like some pale face individuals. Atlanteans look just like us. They're brothers and sisters with froes and locks and ball hair and and um and some of us had straight hair. Some of us we were we were all shades of different uh, carbon um, uh, energy. But this is who we are, brothers and sisters. We are literally the Atlanteans. This is when you look at yourself in the mirror. You see Atlanteans. You don't see African American. You don't see black. You don't see color. You don't see Af- uh, Afro Americans. You see Atlantean. Now, this is what an Atlantean looks like. All right. So we're gonna go deeper. All right. I catch you guys later. You know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial and jelly beans make chaos ring with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos brings change, not peace. Chaos is everything. Much power to you all.